All right. I am super excited, super honored to have Ms. Cheryl Jones here, Queen of Hearts on the Move Happy Movement podcast and blog. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Yes, I'm so excited to be here. Super excited. I always love to share with my audience, you know, how I connect with people. And uh, for us, we connected through, I think, one of my pieces of content on LinkedIn. Yes, and um, you just, it's something, something I said resonated with who you uh-huh. are. And yep. I was so honored you invited me on your show. You've got your own radio talk show. You've got your own audience and whatnot. And so we're just doing a, a full exchange, just sh- spreading the love yeah. and whatnot. Absolutely. Uh, for those that, you know, maybe don't know your story, don't know who you are. Let's, let's, let's back up a little bit. Let's go back to okay. what, what's your origin story? Like, what, what were you like as a little girl? Okay. Well, as a little girl, I was born and raised here in Dallas, Texas. I was extremely shy. Mm -hmm. extremely shy people cannot believe that but it's like yeah I was shy I really was so I didn't participate in anything I was a brainiac so I love 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 learning and I am still a lifelong learner so I absolutely love that but Mm -hmm. really shy didn't say very much coming Mm -hmm. up and wasn't until I started my business that every the the world opened up (laughs) it really did yeah I love that so let's, okay, fast forward a little bit. So you were really shy as a kid and then through high school, you were still shy? Pretty shy. Yeah. Shy Pretty as well. So, mm-hmm. and you said you opened up when you started your business. Was there a person or, or an experience that made you decide to start the business? You know what? What I learned, I spent two years at my job before I launched my business uh-huh. because I was so fearful. I was yeah. so Right. But mm-hmm. one of the things that I kept on researching, I saw you have to be able to talk to run a business. You've got to right. get out, and tell people your story. Yeah. You've got to, get out and, you know, uh, sell. Really, it's really about selling. It really yeah. is. And even mine is a service based business. I had to sell me onto the families, you know, because they yeah. had choice. Definitely. So I had to learn that skill and not make sales something yicky and terrible, but made it something that was comfortable and, you know, not worry about the outcome. I think that's the biggest thing. If I could share anything with an entrepreneur, you cannot be desperate. Yes. (laughs) Oh my goodness. I need to sell. I need to, because people can feel that. Totally feel that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So it's like, if you go in like that, it's like, Oh, this isn't good at all. Yeah. I I can totally relate to that as well. And I think a lot of our our listeners can relate to, you know, being fearful when, you know, you might be starting something new, whether it's a business or changing a career or starting a family, you might have that, that fear inside, but to, to move through that fear and to press Mm -hmm. on is really the only way that we grow. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, What do you think was um, kind of the initial, um, whether it's, within you or, or what was something that gave you that confidence to, I'm, I'm afraid right now, but I know I need to press through and get uncomfortable talking to people, sharing my story. Yeah. Yeah. I will tell you when I was probably maybe 10 years before I started my business, this lady came up to me and said, you will lead the masses. And I was like, Whoa. what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> working. I'm just a social worker. I'm not leading the masses. I'm not doing any of that. But she said that and that could never get out of my head. Yeah. Because it's like, well, what if she's right? Yeah. What if I really am going to lead the masses? And I just started to believe that and just started, okay. You know, and that's what kind of pushes me today. It's because, okay, this lady said I was going to lead the masses. So come on masses. You know? Wow, that is so powerful. And I can relate to that, you know, with, with my story with move happy, how it was one of my patients that told me, yeah. you know, when I earned this promotion in 30 years, my boss said no one was ever interviewed for without state right. license and then earn it and then and then lost it because of budget cuts and they had to shut down yeah. a, a hall and he said, you will be speaking on television, you will be sharing this with other people. Yes. You know, I, I could see that connection um, through you. Right. You know, it's it's a stranger, a person that we, you know, maybe know right. a little bit, but they don't know us, but they sit, right. they saw some, she saw something within you that you didn't right. see in yourself. And you right. still hear that voice in your mind today that keeps you going. Yes. I love that. That's goosebumps. That's just, yes. 
Wow. And it's just, you know, some people think, well, she didn't know you or, but if you have something that's like your guiding light, yep. it's almost like, you know, it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. So you keep going for it. Just keep going for it. So for me, the future is so bright yeah. because I can still see that. It's like, okay, I'm going to lead the masses. So mm-hmm. as I do different things in life, I can see where, oh my goodness. Okay. I'm supposed to lead the masses. When I think about the radio show, I was so afraid. It started in January. I'm mm-hmm. almost at 10,000 listeners per week. I now. love that. <laughs> and it's just like, how did this happen? Because you're going to lead the masses. Yeah. And that's what keeps replaying in my head. It's yes. like, thought you're going to lead the masses. So it's like, I've got to step into what's already predestined for me. I so it's that. so important that we have something. And for us, we need to be the people telling other people stuff yes. because you know now that we found our way, it's time to help other people find their way. Absolutely. So it's so important. So I important. I love that. So let's, let's talk about, talk about a little bit of your first few years in business and getting launched with that. What was that like for you? Wow. I will tell you, my business kind of went a little bit backwards. I would tell people that because I started off really, really it timing is everything, y'all. Yep. I, yep. Tell you, I got into business at a time when the state of Texas was putting a lot of money into the program that I had. Okay, so my first, oh goodness, year, first 10 months, well, no, three months and then 10 months. So it was mm-hmm. really a year and a month. Mm-hmm. I did $1.2 million in business. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Talk so about like favor. Crazy. It was crazy. But one of the things that I realized is sometimes you have to be ignorant on fire. And what I mean by that is <laughs> you're too afraid to doubt. Yeah. So when people would tell me to do something, I would actually do it, y'all. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt, is it going to work? Is it going to not work? No, they said to do it. So I was everywhere. I was out at all the schools. I was out at all the different festivals yeah. and you know, different things where people come together because yeah. that's what business is, y'all. Yep. Serving people, providing a solution to their problem. That's all it is. And if you can do that, being humble, mm-hmm. being for me, loving, just like you are, we have to show our love to others, you know? Yeah. So one of the things that... um was the the reason that I even started business is my special needs son passed away Mm. so I was so passionate about helping other families with children with special needs that they could feel my heart they could feel that this is just my my telling Adrian you know I'm gonna make your name I'm gonna make your memory big Yeah. You know, and it's so important that other people see his little life, you know, and see what's through with him and how I can help them, you know, in whatever capacity, you know, if I can just be a trusted ear, because sometimes when people leave and go to other programs, they're awful sad. But like I told him, life is just like that. It's in and out. You go to different parts of your life and you do this and that, and then you move on. Growth is always going to happen. So it has been just a wonderful ride. It was the best thing I could have ever done. And I am so grateful that I started this business, you know? So now I'm just more into sharing with other women how to start a business and how to be great in your business. So that's what I'm all about. So excited about that. that. That's super Mm -hmm. excited. So, and that's, you really tied greatly into the pillars of move happy. And the first pillar is all about keeping a positive mindset. You know, we've got listeners from, from a variety of backgrounds. I'd imagine you had some, some struggle when you were figuring out, you know, how to lead the masses. Right. But when you launched it, you're like, Oh, wow, this is like, you're, you're in the flow state. What are some, Mm -hmm. some tips and strategies for those that might not be as successful in their first few years of business or, or they're concerned, maybe fearful of getting started. What are some things that you can okay. share with them? Some tips with them? Okay. I want to tell everybody, everybody in life needs a coach y'all. Yeah. I've spent so much money on coaching. I have spent my whole life, even before I started a business, I had a coach or a therapist that I was working with. And the reason for that is you've got to know that you can get better. Yes. You've got to know you're not at your best point. You know, life is going to always get better if you're constantly learning, investing in yourself, 
you know, go into different classes. I am just, I, I've been to 98 conferences all over the U.S. since I started my business. And it's just, I absolutely love training. Now, here's the problem, y'all. Many times it's the implementation of that training. I have books and all kind of, I'm an avid reader. So I have hundreds of books here at home. I have books on the phone, you know, but the yep. thing is, is taking that information and implementing it. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense to continue to, you know, purchase, 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 if you're not going to implement it. And the only way you're going to change your life is to implement it. So I tell people, you need a coach. You really, really do. And even if it's a coach for a short period of time, you may not want a coach forever. But I think coaching is so key to success. It really is. It really is. I think that's a great tip too. And I think, you know, top level professionals in any field have someone Mm -hmm. that is their accountability that, you know, either is in the field that's a few steps ahead or is able to help them kind of Mm -hmm. flip the script in their mind and whatnot. I was thinking when you were, when you were sharing that about uh, my roommate in grad school, she uh, she was a part of the Coast Guard. They were paying for her to, to get her master's degree. And she also was an avid, extreme athlete, was doing her third Ironman when I met her. Uh-huh. And for those that don't know what an Ironman is, it's a full marathon run plus a 112 mile bike and a three mile swim all in one day. So she was training uh-huh. for this and she had a coach. Now she's an mm-hmm. avid athlete doing yeah. two hour workouts a day. And even she was oh. like, I need someone to keep me accountable, to keep me yes. reaching higher uh-huh. and to help her figure out when her times were off, you know, maybe to modify or taper her training and things like that. So definitely agree with that hundred percent. Having a coach in whatever field you're in is, is killer. Oh, it's it absolutely killer. It Love is. That. It- and um, our second pillar of Move Happy is really about, you know, building a strong community um, in regards to, you know, our happiness level, whether we're in business or our personal life, you know, really, if we're pursuing things that we're passionate about, if we have that strong social network, that really is, it's key. It's key. Who we hang out with is either going to yeah. support us or not support us um, to yeah. reach our goals. So what are some things you've learned um, as far as you know, connecting with like-minded professionals um, to really help you reach your goals? Wow, so for me, I love to network. Now, mm-hmm. you know, the last, what, year and a half, it hasn't been that great, but yeah. <laughs> normally in my city, I would get out at least one, maybe two days a week and go to some type of luncheon or breakfast type yeah. of thing, meeting new people because that's where the goal is for yeah. you to meet and connect with new people. Yeah. And that's my thing is your next customer, you haven't even met them yet. So true. And when you realize that and you think, wow, I've just got to get my message out there. Yeah. One of the things is I tell people all the time, make sure you decide where you're going to love, what platform you're going to love. I think for you, it's LinkedIn, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah, right LinkedIn? now, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, for me, it's Facebook. So I have a Facebook group of 300 and some odd people that I Uh give every day, six days a week, a business tip to. So, and they love it, you know, and that's just part of who I am Mm -hmm. because I started that in 2020 because God had been telling me for many years, share your business secrets, share this. This is something that people need to know. So, you know, in addition to that, I have an online course and I have that group and I feel like that group is my give back, you know, because free of charge and everything. My online course is for people ready to get started and thinking about it, thinking, oh my goodness. And I shared the million dollar plan of how I did a million dollar business because it was definitely a succinct plan. These are the steps I took. And I love sharing. I believe everybody can have what they want. If you do your research, if you know money in your business, you know, all you need to do is rinse and repeat and do more of it, you know? Yeah. so important that we understand where our place is. So I have been, um, you know, kind of on and off of LinkedIn, you know, never have really done anything with LinkedIn, but I don't even know how, but I think the word love, you use something about love in your post. And normally people don't talk about love. I don't know if you notice it, but normally, <laughs> yeah, you don't love see a lot not, yeah, you don't see about love. And that is so, do you know who Dr. Leo Mascalia is? Um, no, he, no. Okay. 
he was he died he passed away many years ago but he was at i think the university of Cal, somewhere in california and okay. they called him the love doctor basically oh, wow. and i thought oh my god i could be dr leo in dallas yes. i could be dr leo in dallas <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he was all about love yeah and it was such that. a beautiful way to live and such a beautiful way to teach others it's about love because if I love you I'm going to do everything in my power to help you absolutely I'm going to give you what I possibly can to make sure that you can succeed and live your best life absolutely. you know and that's what it's about us helping one another you know you may not know you know, my friends and I may not know your friends, but together we could put on a fabulous, you know, retreat or we could do a fabulous workshop. Sounds like fun. Or something. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah, we can do something about love, definitely. Because I think that's what the world needs, especially now. You know, Absolutely. we've been through so much. And I think that the beauty is that people are kind of ready for something different. Yes. People are kind of like, okay, it's because life isn't going to return to the same anymore. I don't think we'll ever be the same. I think too many things have changed. So we've got it. The women that are strong, you know, us, we got to go out and lead. Yes. We've got to say, come on, I can help you. Yeah, I can help you. Come on, let me help you. So I think that's so important as we build community because boy, community is everything. You know, my father passed away uh, last year in October, 2020. And I'm telling you, I was doing the tip and just all of a sudden I started crying. And immediately my comments were, you're okay. You're going to be okay. We're so sorry for your loss. And it was just, I could feel their arms around me. It was so powerful. It was so powerful. So it's like community is so important. Absolutely. And you really hit, especially this last point that you said, really uh, stood out to me because the more authentic we are, if we're presenting information online, people can smell BS from miles away. And if you're real, if you're yourself, like you're having a rough day, that's okay. And I think that that is really what helps to connect people to who you Mm -hmm. are and your story and want to help because people want to help others. I think most people genuinely have goodness within them. And it's Mm -hmm. really expressing ourselves in an authentic state to really attract the kinds of people that we want to be around. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, And, you know, kind of tying in with a little bit of your, your fun, you have this really fun energy about you. Like, (laughs) yes, we're, we're, we both have an alignment with love, but I think also um, a lot of that has to do with how we take care of ourselves and whatnot. And one of those things, meaning, you know, how we move our bodies and, Uh, our third pillar of move happy is really about movement and keeping a Mm -hmm. daily practice of either fitness or physical activity. And we believe at move happy that it's really about what you enjoy doing. That's going to help you stick and stay with taking care of your body. So with that in mind, what are some of your favorite ways that you move your body? Wow. Well, I'm always here at the house dancing around. So that's a bit, (laughs) I knew it. (laughs) dance around even though my nieces tell me I can't dance I think I can <laughs> I don't know what they're talking everybody about. I can I dance can. <laughs> no, I, so I love that. that I would have to say that dancing around the house not in public but dancing around the house. there you go put your socks on get in the kitchen and go <laughs> there you go. then we have stairs in the house so I'm always up and down the stairs I love that. I feel like if I do up and down the stairs several times a day, that helps as well. Absolutely. So I am just real conscious about trying to keep my body where it needs to be, you know, because yeah. I have been, oh my goodness, my husband is 100% total care and he's blind. So mm. I'm his caregiver as well as CEO and all the other hats wow. that I wear. So wow. I stay pretty busy, but you know, I love my life. I, I don't, um, you know, take sorrow you know I tell people don't don't worry about us you know we're okay we're okay you know so we just got to deal with what happened yeah Mm -hmm. you have such a great outlook on life wow that is that's beautiful I love that and let's talk a little bit more specifically on your business and what you're excited about like how can we support you and move happy wow 
I am so excited. I still have my brick and mortar business uh, mm-hmm. where I work with individuals with special needs. It's very, very small now, though. Uh, the state of Texas switched the money and they put it in another area. Okay. And to be honest with you, I could go for that other area, but it's so much work. And I just decided I don't want to work that hard anymore. Yeah. I just don't. You know, um, I could get that state contract and I'd probably be doing well because I had over 360 clients in my wow. other program. And most of those have left. I'm down to 39 clients, I think. So most of those have left and went to the other program. And they're constantly calling me saying, hey, when are you going to get this contract? We want to come back with you because nobody mm-hmm. loves on people like I love on people. Yeah. But I also realize that I don't want to work that hard anymore. Yeah. You're working hard yeah. at home. You need to have. Yeah. So I have else. enough going on. So yeah. definitely. So what I switched to is I started coaching and offering a mastermind program. Goodness, mm. that was, was that 2020 or 2019? I've had three. So I guess it was 2020. Yeah, 2020 that I've had started that. And it's been wonderful. I absolutely love it. But now I've switched it to an online course, which is even better because I can yeah. serve people all over the world. So I'm yeah, so I love that. So I am just on fire about this online course and just, you know, sharing it with people and letting them know, hey, this is available. And in addition to that, I provide, coaching sessions to make sure that they get it right you know because I don't want them to walk away saying well man that's a lot of information what do I do first everything is laid out you know and if you need me hey I have a number call let's get on a call let's do a zoom let's get it done because I think that's the biggest thing for me I spent two years thinking can I do it can I not do it and all I had to do was move and get out there and get started And I I just tell them, it's time to move and get started. And even if you have to correct something, it's not failure. It's just tweaking and making it better. Mm -hmm. Because there's some things, all you need to do is tweak it just a little bit, and it'll be wonderful. I love that. So if people want to sign up for your course or get connected in your Facebook group, what's the best way they can can do that? Okay, so the course is the bit.ly, and it's, what is bit.ly? B-I-T dot. L Y backslash Queen Cash. Love that. <laughs> so I'm the Queen Heart, so Queen Cash. Yes, Love so it. Queen Cash. That's okay. how you get to the course. And then my Facebook group is Queen of Hearts Business Tips on Facebook. Yeah. Awesome. So just request to be in the business tips group. Um, good way to contact me too. And I just got a number, uh, a text, texting service so let me see if I can find my number oh awesome through like community app or something uh uh-huh I got it through text line so I'm excited about that yeah and that number is 833-921-7209 so I'm so excited about that and just being able to connect I'm getting ready to launch this number out to my radio show next week and just really you know, I have people that follow me, but it's like making that real connection. Yes. You know, I tell people, I want to know who you are and what I can do to help you. And even if the help is just, you need me to pray for you. Yeah. You may need anything. You may just need a prayer partner. You just may need somebody to say, oh, when you're thinking about me, just pray for me. You know, I tell people yeah. that all the time. You have no idea what your words can do for another mm-hmm. person. That's so you, true. Absolutely have no idea what your words can do. So don't be afraid to share your life. Don't be afraid to share your failures. You know, I tell people, I wished now I teach people you need multiple streams of income, but I wish I would have had it, you know, when my business started going down, because Mm -hmm. it's like, I had no idea I'd go from 360 people to 39 people. Yeah, that's a huge shift. Huge shift. And with that I've had to learn how to reinvent myself yeah. you know and to do some other things so it's been amazing um wouldn't have wanted it to happen that way but I'm glad it did you know mm-hmm. I'm glad it did you know so it's been a good lesson so I've learned a lot absolutely and I think you know everybody that's listening or watching the show right now they definitely need to connect with you on Facebook um if they have yes. text messaging I don't know who doesn't have text messaging but definitely I- sign up for that mm-hmm. as well. And then those that are feeling that urge to sign up for your, your workshop, I think, uh, or your course, I think they definitely need to just 
just do it. Just take the plunge, yeah. sign up, go on bit.ly dot or bit.ly slash queen cash queen cash and yeah. sign up today. Don't, don't delay. If you're thinking about it, that means you're supposed to do it. If it's in your heart, yeah. do it, just spend the money, invest in yourself. Yes. Um, absolutely. Uh, love that. Um, so last but not least, I always like to kind of close out the show with, you know, something light and to help our audience connect with you on a little uh, personal level, though you've shared a lot already, um, but something <laughs> fun and something light. So I was thinking uh, just through through the course of the interview and, uh, li- you know, learning a little bit more about you uh, uh-huh. when you're not, you know, serving others, because you, what I've heard is that you serve and you love to help others so much and you give so yes. much of what, what are one, of, maybe one or a couple ways that you love to recharge yourself to wow. relax when maybe you're not serving other people? Okay. So one of the things that I do is I host events here in Dallas. So I always, always stay at the hotel. And that's one of the ways that I take care of myself. I, sometimes I might even stay two days there because when I get home, I'm working. Yeah. You know, my husband, he can't feed himself. He's wow. in diapers. It's everything. So yeah. I'm totally caring for him. Wow. So, you know, when I'm out in the community, I have staff that comes in and takes care of him. But uh-huh. when I have a conference or a workshop, I stay at that hotel. That. And for 2022, I'm going to have 12, one per month. So I'm so excited about that. that. And just being able to say, hey, one weekend a month, I'm going to take myself somewhere. Yes. So I'm so excited about that. You that know, and it makes awesome. you wear big or whatever, but it's going to be enough to, that I'm going to be so refreshed and rejuvenated. Yeah. So I'm excited about yeah. that. That's Definitely. awesome. And anybody <laughs> listening that's doing as you are and taking care of their loved one, I think they can appreciate yeah. that too. It's so oh, yeah. it's so neat. And don't forget to take care of yourself. You know, it's so, um, because without you, that person is not going to be good. Yeah, you know, so so important that we know that. Mm-hmm. I love that. Well, this has been amazing. I'm super Thank excited you. and honored. Thank you so much again for taking the time to be on the show today. And yeah. any last words of wisdom, advice, or love for our audience before we end the interview? Yes. So I'm going to take Nike's words and say, just do it. Whatever your heart is telling you to do, just do it. Because here's what I know. Life isn't promised. So we don't know what happens tomorrow. So why not take time today to plan what you consider your future? Yes. It's so important that you live the life of your dreams. And don't let anybody stop you from that. Mm. Uh, just whatever. Whatever you're dreaming about. Because here's the deal. God wouldn't have given you a dream without a way to make it happen. Absolutely. Just, do it. just do it. Yes. I love that. 